Hello and welcome to Cup TV. I'm Robin Coburn and this is my design assistant Zena. Today we're going to show you how to make one of my new book shaped cards. Keep going. This one features some beautiful orchids. We have the cover design, layers of decoupage, uh, various greeting labels to stick on the spine and the inside has a parchment look paper with additional flowers decorating it. There is an envelope template um, sized to fit these cards which they are approximately 19 centimetres by 13 centimetres. I've printed all three sheets on uh, 180 GSM gloss photo paper. So you have the um, card cover, the insert, decoupage layers, and the spine of the book has the greeting. There are various options for the greetings. I've cut them out. Now we want to score down the spine of the book. fold you need to do the same on the insert fold it the other way I'm going to use a glue stick to glue these back to back and make sure that the glue is very dry before you fold the card again. For ease of manoeuvring I'm just gluing one half at a time. Now we just need to add all of our layers. Start with the large all-in-one piece as your first layer for the flowers. Uh, this has the background built in so you don't have to cut out any little holes. I'll be using foam tape. I like to shape the upper layers of the flowers. This gives them a more realistic 3D shape. Uh, I'm using a wire loop tool. You can also use uh, ball embosses. Uh, probably larger than that one would be better for these petals. When you go to layer the pieces on, I would put a piece of thin foam tape in the middle, because that's the lowest point, and a thin double-sided tape, and then foam tape under the pieces that you want to stay raised.
Now you can see how that gives it a, a more natural shape. So you can see how the differing levels of tape have really given life to the flowers. Now I'm going to add the butterflies. I just use a piece of thin tape and attach one wing and I'm also going to use the thin tape to attach my greeting. So now I've finished attaching the pieces. You can fold your card over. The glue should be dry now. And we're finished. Just use any colour coordinated paper of your choice for the envelope.